I learned something uh, very interesting about love, and it's, a, it's, a, it's hard to grasp because it's very counterintuitive. The fact of the matter is, is that love has nothing whatsoever to do with you. Nothing. It's all about the other. Uh, if you, uh, love isn't the, uh, the feeling that you feel when you're around somebody. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's... It's a byproduct, right? It, it, yeah. Uh, that feeling is a byproduct of the fact you love somebody, but it's not the feeling, it's, it's not what love is. Um, if you love someone, it's, it's like your child. You, ju you just want what's good for them. You don't, you don't care if you know, they go out with some girl, they go out with that girl, or, or whatever. You, you, just, you just want what's good for them. Uh, and this is a hard thing for people to, to grasp, because most people think of love as being some form of barter. I will only love you if you love me back. In other words, it's all about them, what the benefits they derive from it. If the loving of you is good, if it's happy, if it's uh, you know satisfying, uh, then you will continue to love them, and that's not what love is. Love is, is eternal. Once once you're hooked on love, it doesn't stop. That's one of the characteristics of love. Uh, this is why you know people fall in love with people and, and they get hooked and they just can't help themselves. You know, uh, but it's it's a strange thing. This is why uh, you know people. You know, the woman goes to Paris and she has an affair, and uh, most people would get... Uh, you mean really, me? Really, really, yeah, I mean you. Most people get really upset about this. They, they go Ready, all yeah. preternaturally wild over it, because our instincts tell us that we have a right to be angry Or she's or, cheating, or, or he's doing but whatever. But her having an affair with somebody else, it's got nothing to do with me. It's none of my business, pardon my language. It's none of my business. But it is your business, It's not it? my business. If it's your this girlfriend, but if it's it your girlfriend... It doesn't girlfriend. matter. If it's good for you, I derive benefit from it because you're happier, a happier person with me. You're not, uh, you know, all dissatisfied, oh, my life sucks, and all this kind of stuff. No, you're happy, and you're fulfilled. For example, your relationship with... Um, is, is, uh, oops, this better not publish this. <laughs> Like, I derive benefit from that because you're a happier person. Yeah, that. but me, it's Help. a pure platonic thing. I know it's a pure platonic thing, but whatever. But it, it, at one time, it wasn't a platonic thing. Yeah. And men, would, normal men would be jealous over something like that because it was once a love affair. They Not would be afraid. Every blah, man, blah, blah, any blah, man. Any man, yeah. And I simply don't feel like like that. It's none of my business. But some people would interpret that if you like I don't have care. no je yes, yeah. because I was asked this question like, it's not, doesn't not he care? Caring. It's like, not about being shielded. It's not about like I'm so strong. It it's different. It fundamentally does not matter. It doesn't trigger me at all, because I regard such things as healthy. I mean, I was never perfect. I had affairs, and and it, and it healed me in ways that I couldn't be healed otherwise. I had two girlfriends for four years, and they let me do that. And it was one of the most beautifully healing experiences I've ever had. And it was good for each of them, because I was a happy camper. You know? I wasn't running around thinking, oh, my life sucks, because I want to do this, one or that. I did this and that. I fulfilled my whatever. You know? And, and, uh, and so I'm a lot... I'm very forgiving of people who... Because I think it's natural. Uh, I currently don't screw around, because I'm, I'm not, not interested. I'm just... It, just, it doesn't uh, fit into my scheme of things. But it's not because out of a sense of morality or a sense of obligation. Although I'm perfectly capable of not screwing around because I know it hurts you, because I'm a considerate guy. But that's fundamentally not the reason I'm currently not doing that. I'm just not interested. But if somebody else, my, if my partner uh, feels a need to do that, um, I don't get triggered by it. It's just like, well, okay, that sounds great. It sounds like a lot of fun. Come back and tell me about it. You know, I want to get right into it. Like, oh, was it fun? Was it, what'd you do? Uh, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of people look on that as some kind of aberration, like a perversion. And it's not. It's just, I'm, I'm not hurt by things that, uh, that I think are harmless. Like, the only way I can be hurt is if, for example, you catch a disease. And that's, that affects me. Or if, uh, in the case of that Arab, he turned into a, a real jerk and harmed you. And I had to put up with you being harmed every night, being wounded by him. You, you pour your heart out about, about to me about all his all the, uh, the the inner conflicts you were having because of uh, he was attacking you every day because he was some egotistical Arab that uh, you know couldn't handle but the fact that you didn't I, want to be with him anymore. I know, but I I think in the beginning too I allowed it to happen too. I mean, obviously, Absolutely. I allowed him to attack me. Yeah. I did not have a guard. I was and not you vigilant. He was right. And yeah, you and didn't recognize like his attack as for the mean little. 
petty little thing it was. He was just a little boy who was emotionally immature, who couldn't handle the maturity of life and, and, and the grandness of it, the big picture. He couldn't handle it. He said, you do, you do, you do, you love me, nobody else. Oh, you do what I tell you, you know? You know, and, and, and this teeny, weeny, sniveling little voice inside is not love. Jealousy is not love. Yeah. Je jealousy means you're, you, you need somebody to the point where you think you're going to be damaged without them. You, th you, you are threatened by a healthy relationship with somebody else because you think, oh, well, she'll leave me. It's a fundamental lack of confidence. I do not lack confidence. That's beautiful I'm not the least bit said. worried about you taking off with somebody else for two reasons. No. One, I don't think you're going to do it, which is the fundamental one. And two, even if you did do it, I have a feeling, well, that's okay. I'll be taken care of. Somebody else will come along. I'll have a, some other life. You know, yes, there might be turmoil or, or whatever, but so what? I've always gotten over that. You always become healed. You're never permanently damaged unless you choose to be permanently damaged by something. Uh, by keeping it fresh in your mind all the time, by thinking about it all the time, and thinking you've been wronged. You haven't wronged me. You did what came natural to you. You had a blast. And, excuse me, a romantic affair in Paris? This is something which is like, hmm, this is a good thing. This is not, uh, you know, oh, she's a bad person, or, or any of these more moralistic... You know, we, we make everybody wrong about everything that doesn't fit into our picture of what we want. It's okay, no, that's, 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 that's the foundation of most people's reality. Okay. Thank you, Des. Welcome. Love that you. That was grand.